would like to invite Professor Dr. Volker Wittenberg to share uh, your ideas, maybe within uh, 15 or uh, 20 minutes. Please, time is yours, uh, Dr. Wittenberg. Thank you very much, Dr. Arif, and uh, thank you all um, for joining this session. Um, very good morning from Germany, a very good afternoon to Indonesia. Um, I, I would like um, to share some of the experience online which we had uh, been able to share with our Indonesian partners by visiting in Bielefeld in Germany where FHM is based and where we have a strong focus in our education um, in, in university for university students start up, starting up their own business and uh, developing it to yeah, potentially a global SME. In, in this um, uh, efforts, we are cooperating with the Founders Foundation, which I'm going to show you and guide you through via their own website, um, so that you you can actually have a chance to to look uh, more deeper into it. They they do run an English uh, version of it, so so I'm I'm browsing and navigating through uh, the English version. When when coming to set up um, a, a, a startup, which potentially looks at um, having a global outreach, it it is important to have the vision not only to um, work for and instead of uh, a multinational corporation, but to have your own vision and your um, own marketing, uh, market niche. And, and that's what we call hidden champions. They, they are not big, they are still SMEs and therefore they are kind of hidden, but um, they are still uh, at the same time championing in what they are doing. So small, but in their niche, market leaders uh, worldwide. And to get there, um, Founders Foundation, who we have visited uh, in, in Bielefeld and those uh, coming over from Indonesia, our Indonesian guitar partners uh, might remember very well. Um, they actually uh, do in three steps to prepare for it. And number one is what they uh, call experience. And experience is all about sharing expertise, uh, diving in and become part of a community. And that is all about exploring um, on an event here, of course, on the website, um, a present event in the Founders Foundation itself, at the moment, of course, all um, virtual. And step one, the Founders uh, Science Workshop addresses perfectly uh, at startups from universities like in um, FHM also. Um, the idea is to turn scientific research into um, business models. It's um, not that every good idea and every typical founder um, has um, an immediate market um, approach or an uh, immediate market view, because the type of people coming there are so much different. They are the deep tech experts, the engineers, the executor, and the, um, the task everybody has to undergo is to, to turn a scientific research idea into real business, and that is about um, sharing with others 
um, looking at people who have already done this. So that is basically step number one in, um, in the startup journey. Step number two, the founders ideation workshop. Now um, that we have um, turned the idea into a market idea, it's uh, to find uh, uh, co-founders, founders who actually can help making this idea fly. So that could be an industry expert uh, joining with a scientist and joining with the hands-on executor. And um, uh, this is so valuable um, because it helps actually to form teams who together um, uh, will be very uh, powerful founders teams. In hack days, um, uh, step number three, um, it is um, that the prototype of the product will be tested in an infrastructure um, of cutting edge technology where this might suit in. So it, it will be a 72 hours hackathon with a, a number of teams working on how their individual ideas fit into the relevant um, uh, trend technologies. And then last is the founders talk that is um, where you can meet serial entrepreneurs and an expert and share the idea in evening event. Once there, um, let me see. Um, when, once you have caught fire in that experience, um, number two, and, and this building is so fascinating because for each of um, uh, this growth up building for each of uh, the three main areas, they have an individual floor. The floor number two is education. And after university education, like at FHM, um, you can follow um, up on your startup skills at the founder startup school. And um, again, with a number of levels. It starts with um, um, a startup school where with the co-finder together, um, you can validate your idea that is uh, more like a, um, a, a workshop style, and which leads to the masterclass, which is the core part of the education um, where you not only learn about your own product, but where you can uh, have all related content around. Because this is what is really hard for startups when they want to grow and to go international, to have all these competences like marketing, finance, uh, up to international uh, legislation, etc., and this is a, um, a, a more month um, a masterclass, as it says here, on online marketing, sales, product design, and coding. And then, in the last, so now I need to go. Then, then you can apply uh, for a three month scholarship in the Founders Lab, where it's not only a place, a learning space, but the training space and to um, and the meeting place where you can actually decide to start your business and to make it real from what you have learned and in the team which you have decided to go with. So, and when it really comes into um, when it really comes into um, reality, 
you move up to the accelerator, which is given to you for 180 days, 30 entrepreneurs, um, where you can um, actually build up your company and scale your company. Um, the requirements, the entry requirements is that the problem solution fit is proven that the pilots are done in the uh, previous steps, um, that the um, solution, that the product is scalable, and that you show with the right, um, with the right partners. What you get then, and what will most likely make you successful is, that you have half a year time, full time, and you must dedicate your, your, um, your, your presence then, you must actually do that in full time. You get a senior advisor for all the time with individual mentoring um, and um, uh, have weekly workshops, not only on the technology, but also on sales, fundraising, product development, investor relations, um, have weekly individual coach, coaches, uh, community meeting, and um, actually then, if successful, will be went out, um, will, will go out uh, into real life, and there are another institution which we have been visiting in Bielefeld, the Pioneers Club, will take you in and, and let you further grow. Over the time, the last couple of years, um, in this 200 jobs have been created, a funding of 50 million euros, um, 10 million in sales, and the survival rate of 78%. That survival rate is the number one proof um, for the suitability of this program and what makes it so different. So in short words, um, that might be seen as a way to create um, actually uh, potential global players. It does not promise that you will be a global player, but but it it it, it increases the likelihood, and this is all post university. Um, I, I chose. I opted for for this um, topic for for my introductory presentation because what you will hear um, in in the next sessions. Uh, by Nadine, John, and Alex is more like what will happen in the university and what will happen, what will make you ready for a program like the one I have shown you now for, for what the steps would be after university, after the training you have experienced in the university and what will actually um, yeah, make you uh, a potential global SME and uh, startup founder. Well, I hope this was somewhat um, inspiring for you. And um, as I said, you can visit um, the website uh, foundersfoundation.de and go for the British flag for English language version. Uh, and, and also you are all more than happy to contact and, and uh, have some uh, information that is seen as helpful. But for the moment, um, I would like to thank you for listening and watching and uh, uh, fingers crossed for all the ventures in future you might want to go for. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much.